What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Crash Lander Survival and today we're going to actually continue with the main quest. I know we have a few side quests left to do, uh, mainly with growing crops, but we just grew a ton of crops, so I really don't want to grow more crops. And also, a lot of you guys pointed out that I should have built the sickle, I totally forgot about it until uh, after, and uh, apparently the sickle doubles what we harvest and just gives us a whole ton more crops for a lot less effort. So we could have made that whole growing process a lot quicker. Uh, so we'll definitely have to build a sickle for next time. But in the meantime, we're going to make this Geiger counter and, of course, find our crashed ship. So to make the Geiger counter, I'm assuming it's in here somewhere. You know what? Let's just build a sickle right now. Tool handle and a sword blade component. So let's just, let's just get that done as well before we forget. Um, and then that way we'll have a sickle. Sword blade component, one of those. Tool handle component. Need more metal block, one. Uh-oh. Do I not have... Uh-oh. This might be... A bit of a oh never mind I got lots of coal and oh we got some of this we have any more scrap metal yeah never mind we got lots of lots of metal one capability here yeah we'll just we'll just mash out a ton of this here we go boom 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 and just a ton of that perfect we need to, of course automate more of this stuff but that'll get us going on the metal one so tool blade component check sword tool handle done there we go and then of course we'll craft ourselves a sickle and make a Geiger counter. So the Geiger counter, I'm assuming it's in here somewhere. It's, that's not it. That's a master battery alarm clock. Um, what is this? That's a speed trigger. Okay, it's got to be in the main one, right? What, oh, this looks like it. Nuclear symbol, Geiger counter. There we go. We need one beacon, copper component kits, and circuits. Okay, how many circuits do I need? I think I have enough to make enough anyway. Six circuits. Okay, so we can do that. So one, two, three. And then we need a beacon. A beacon takes two metal cages, one radio, two component kits, and metal two. All right, and a radio takes three more circuits. Okay, so we need more circuits, of course. There we go. Something like that. And we need another metal cage. Should be able to build that. No, build some pipes. It's gonna be nice when all this is super connected and it's all just one big, you know, string of things. Gonna need a whole lot of metal too to connect this all up. Um, luckily, we'll be able to actually just string all the crafting stations together in one big line, pretty much like we have. And then we'll probably need like the input up to here on the one side. And then on the other side, we'll need the input cover or the output, I guess, coming out of here. And then they'll just connect underneath and have a whole series of chests. My hope is to have I mean, I want to move it because obviously this ladder is sort of in the way now, but I'd like to have, you know, all the crafting stations on one side and then all the chests on the other side. And, uh, you know, we can just kind of walk down the hallway, have all the inventories if we need them, and of course craft whatever we need to craft. So that's going to be super, super useful. So now what? Requires power? What? What the heck? I have to hook it up to something? Do I have to hook it up to like a battery storage or something? Like, okay. So it, it needs power. Can I hook it up to an engine? No, it needs like probably a battery storage, right? So, all right, well, that's kind of interesting. We got tons of batteries. I mean, quite legitimately, like this thing is just, it's just full. It's absolutely full. Oh, and it's 4,788%. So yeah, I had someone explain this to me, why it goes up a percent. Basically means as soon as we pull batteries out, it, yeah, I just see it just instant replenishes. Like, okay, there we go. That that was all the batteries it had, and now it's back to 0%. That's ridiculous. That's so good. Anyway, we have lots of batteries. I'm not really worried about having batteries. Uh, but we need electrical storage, I guess. Okay, so how do we build an electrical storage? Probably in here. Um, here we go. Electrical storage. Fuel container and two vacuum pipe components. All right, everything just gets more and more complicated. I'm actually starting to get used to this mod, which is kind of cool. So we need one of these. Need another metal cage, of course. Need more pipes, of course. Let's just do that. There we go. And then we're going to need some component kits as well. Uh, just a lot of crafting needs to be done. Need more beeswax. No problem. Luckily, we live in a place where the beeswax is quite literally right here. There's also beeswax on the trees. So this is all just wonderful. There we go. Perfect. How much beeswax was that? Oh, nine. Excellent. And then, of course, we got to get back up. Man, it's just a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff to get going here to get this Geiger counter. But we're going to go find the crash ship and, I mean, see, I guess, what that quest is all about. All right, done. Battery container. Let's go put it on the truck. 
Excellent. We'll just slap it on the back for now next to the Geiger counter. That connects to that. Perfect. Give it lots of power. That's it. Radiation 2.1%. All right. So I'm assuming as we drive, this just, it changes. Yeah. Okay. So we just head towards where the number is the biggest, I guess, which is seemingly this way. I kind of figured it would be this way since this is like the direction of the map that we haven't really explored too much of. But there we go. Definitely going to need that gas pumping thing as well. Oil is going to be super, super useful. I wonder, you know what, while we're here, I'm just going to check other deserts. There was that one oil pond by Bills, but that's it. If there was another oil pond here... No, there's not. Yeah, I want to check all the deserts we come across. Because it would be super convenient if there were more than, you know, just the one oil pond. Not sure if there is, though. It's probably, honestly, just a one-off thing. Like, maybe even if it's built into, like, a custom tile or something, you know? Because that's pretty much how Scrap Mechanic works. You have, like, specific tiles, and then you have... You know, the, uh, the, like, intermediate areas, I guess, that are just generated. But there are some specific tiles that generate as part... Well, everything is, I mean, tile-based, but, like, it's kind of weird. Scrap Mechanic Terrain Generation is a very weird thing. We gotta also try and build a chemical pump back in the HQ. Everyone told me that you can do it, so, like, next time we're in the H... Oh, that's the other... Ch there's the other chest there. But, yeah, next time we're in the HQ, I'm gonna try building something in the basement again. Because everyone said you could do it. I've had so many people be like, oh, yeah, you can just build a chemical pump in the in the pond there. But I don't think you actually can. I don't need tomato seeds. We have tomato seeds already. Or, like, or like I said the first time, we just gotta go and, you know, build a pump outside the HQ and just keep smacking it until it gets into the basement, which is another... Another possibility. Wouldn't be that hard to do, to be honest, because you just make a pump on a chest and just keep hitting it. Is this uh, another desert with no oil? That's a nice desert, though. 60%, 61%. I keep thinking that bush is like a bad guy, but it's just a bush. This is really, really, really cool. I feel like this map is almost bigger than a normal survival map. Like, maybe I'm crazy. It just feels bigger, you know? It feels like there's a lot more space. But it might just be because there aren't as many roads. And, like, on a regular survival map, the roads kind of, you know, give you an idea of where you are. I know the regular survival map is pretty big. Um, okay. Oh, it's going down. Oh. Okay. Okay. 94... Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is gonna be it. The giant flaming. Yeah, I think I found it. Thank God. Time to see what the damage is. I'm gonna go with not great. Like, the damage is a lot. It's not gonna be a good looking ship. Nice. Alright, here we go. Let's get these chests. Nice golden chest. Perfect. So, really? Really? You know how useful that would have been, like, ten minutes ago? Not extremely useful now. Okay, more chem- Oh my god, I don't need chemicals, guys. I need- I need component kits and food is really where it's at. This is cool, though. They use that, uh, crash ship tile from the regular survival. Which, uh, you seem to randomly find in every survival world. There's always a second crash ship. Because you start on a crash ship tile, and then there's always, like, a second one for some reason. Everyone finds around the map, which is interesting. But I have no idea how far we are from everything. Uh, does the logbook tell me? Beacons. 3,882 meters, almost four kilometers away from the base. That's crazy. At some point in time, what, maybe what we'll have to do is put a beacon on one side of the map and then go all the way to the other side of the map and actually just measure how big the map is. I know it's a big square map, but we could actually check and see how large it is. Uh, I'm just going to break this stuff. Okay, a scrap wheel. That's extremely useful. Scrap metal block. and Okay, well, this is all just like starter item stuff. I don't really need that. What am I supposed to do? Scavenge everything useful. Okay. What? I don't understand. Can I... The ship's closed. What am I... Am I supposed to, like, collect... Do I have to collect all this? Is that the idea? Maybe I have to collect all this stuff. Alright, there's gotta be a way to, like, get into this ship then. Or something. If we're supposed to scavenge everything useful... Um... Oh! Yeah, okay, we just gotta... I'm an idiot. We just gotta make this... Uh, well, we're just gonna burn to death. Do I need to go get water? And a bucket? I don't really care. We just ran right through it. Doesn't even matter. 
Okay. It's normal crash ship stuff. Okay, nothing in there. Well, the calendar is very useful. It's very important we take that. As well as this mug. I can sleep in these beds. Take the flower pot. Okay, there's a toilet paper roll. I don't know if any of this stuff is, you know, technically quote-unquote useful, but... Let's just, uh, make sure we grab it all. I think I was supposed to put the fire out. I think that's probably what we're supposed to do here. What's up in the cockpit? Anything? I don't see anything we can scavenge. Oh, there's a battery right there. That's what we're after. I probably should have built my little watering can. Oh! True! Can I build a watering can? That's probably even better than a bucket. This one's the metalworking bench here. You can build a watering can, right? Ten metal block, two. Oh god, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. And a bucket. Alright, we're going to build a bucket. I need oil. Oil and plastic. Or oil to make plastic. Alright, we're gonna go down to the ocean here. Build ourselves a bucket. And then we're gonna just, uh... Fill up the bucket. And just have to come back and put out the fire. Hi, bear. Honestly, I think the only thing we're after is that battery. Because then that battery we can use with that, um... Like, master battery holder to power stuff. And then we should be good to go. So let's just see here. Uh, I need to make some plastic. Boom. Done. Oh, I needed six oil. That's perfect. That makes me ten plastic block. And then I can convert that ten plastic block into a bucket. Something is beeping. Yeah, it is you. Let's go put out the fire. Oh, interesting. More scrap. That's nice. Just put... Did that do anything? It put out a little bit of fire. Can I grab the battery? Okay, I got the battery. I don't think there's anything else we actually need over here. No. Scavenge... Oh. Wait. Now I have the master battery, what am I going to use it for? I have no idea. Maybe we can ask Bill and his friends. They could have some ideas. Well, the master battery... There was that master battery holder that we can craft. So I'm pretty sure that's what we have, you uh, tell Bill about. Perfect. All right. I think that's all we needed from this crash ship. You know what? I'm going to... I don't want to do it, but I'm going to go put out all the fire. Because I know what's going to happen is I'm going to, like, leave and go back and talk to Bill and be like, Hey, Bill, what's up, man? What, what's going on with this master battery? And then someone in the comments is going to be like, Bro, you missed, like, 17 blueprints, and, like, the answer to life itself was written on the back of the ship, and you just didn't check. So we're just going to put out all the uh, all the fire there. It's going to be a bit of a process, but I just want to make sure that we don't accidentally uh, miss some, like, kind of blueprint that might be sitting in the back of the ship there just because the fire's in the way. Oh my god, this scrap respawns every time I walk back to the ship. Are you serious? Okay, that's kind of cool. Just a free scrap pile. There we go. Alright, I can grab this pipe. I don't... I honestly don't see anything else. I don't see any blueprints. I don't see anything weird. No blueprints in the front. No, I think, I think that was literally it. It's just that one... Yeah. All right, let's go talk to Bill. Let's see what Bill has to say. Bill's probably going to be like, oh yeah, craft the master battery thing, use it to reactivate the drills in the mine, and then go drilling again. Even though I blew up the whole mine because I was mad at people drilling, you should definitely go drill. That's my guess. Um, logbook. Bill's house. Yes, please. Way over there. That's interesting. I thought maybe it would be along this way. Let's just go this way. And see what's over in this general direction. We might run into something accidentally. Oh! Is that another oil pond? I mean, we're way far away from the base. Bill's oil pond is clearly closer. But I feel like this is another oil pond. Or is this a water pond? No, that's oil. That's sick. There is more than one oil pond on this map. That's so cool. This is like, again, not really close, but this would have been a sweet base location too. Super far away from absolutely everything. Like we're, you know, a few thousand kilometers or a few thousand meters, sorry, from where we were, a few kilometers. But like, you've got water and oil both within the same chunk there. So you could have actually made a, a base that had it all. But I mean, we'll make an oil truck and that'll be easy enough because one load of an oil truck and, you know, thousands of oil, here we come, right? So... Not really too worried about it, but it's cool that there is actually more than one oil pond. I was not expecting that, to be perfectly honest. 
But so far, only the one chemical pond. The chemical pond that's... Oh, we're at the mine. Oh. Oh, this is actually where the mine is. Well, you know what? This wouldn't have been the worst thing for a base location, actually. Right next to the mine, you got an oil pond and a water pond. Just kind of, you know... Well, not a water pond. You got the ocean. But yeah, you just kind of have all your stuff in one spot. You can go to the mine on a regular basis. That's sort of neat. All right, almost back at Bill's, I think. Yeah, there it goes. Loading Bill's house. Perfect. What's up, Bill? Took a bit of a weird detour to get here, but we're here. What do you got to tell me about the master battery? Is anything chasing us? No. Okay, perfect. What do you got to tell me, Bill, about the master battery? Anything? Well, 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 you finally came back. I'm guessing you did find it after all this time being gone. Yes, I found it, but most of my ship was destroyed. Yes, considering it crashed. Recover some stuff. Yes, I was recovering. I only recovered the master battery, nothing else. Everything was damaged. I also got a roll of toilet paper, Bill. Do you need some toilet paper? I could give you some toilet paper. Is it still working? Yeah. So we can use it to get off this planet somehow. We can then build a spaceship of some kind and use the master battery as a power source. No, we can't. The ship is destroyed beyond repair. We're going to build a new spaceship. Then we cannot use new pieces to build a ship. Yeah, exactly. New ship. New ship. I don't think we can. We don't have the resources or the tech to build one. Would you be able to make one if we had the tech and resources? Wow, Bill. You're just... You're so insightful. It's unbelievable. You should ask Mark or Ivan for help building the ship. Okay, no problem. Just go and ask them. Gotcha. I'll, I'll do that. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. You're you're a useful treasure trove of information, Bill, as always. It's just, it's always a pleasure talking to you, Bill. Bill talks to me like I'm a five-year-old, which I guess, like, the mod developers sort of, like, did, you know, in case you are a five-year-old, but, like, Bill really, he really, like, spoon-feeds all the information in a, uh, in a very, very, very short sentence sort of way. He's like, oh, do you have the battery? Yes, I have the battery. Oh, good, since you have the battery. And it's like, Bill, Bill, calm down. Like, we're fine. I understand, Bill. I'm not dumb. I'm only slightly stupid. All right, back at the HQ. Let's just uh, park up here real quick. Go check our crate, of course, to make sure we don't have that yellow chest. Oh, look at that, we do. What do we got today? Component kits, nice. A logic gate, sure. Always useful to have some logic. Let's go talk to Mark and Ivan. I, they didn't mention Justin at all, so I guess Justin doesn't have anything to say about building the spaceship, but... Let's see. Also, I find it interesting that the spaceship is powered by this little battery, right? Oh, see, I can't place anything in the HQ. While we're here, we're gonna check that. But yeah, the spaceship is powered by this tiny little battery, right? And then we have that giant battery that we got out of the quarry, and they're like, Nah, bro, that's not good enough to power a spaceship. That's useless. Oh, what's up, Mark and Justin? Hey, I'm fine. What? What? I didn't even say anything. Okay. I am fine, thank you. How about you? I'm great, man. I wanted to talk to you about my crashed ship. Yeah, no, let's let's go. Do you have a way of getting off this planet? No, the ship's destroyed beyond repair. Build our own? Yeah, we're gonna build our own spaceship, dude. It's fine. How are we gonna get those important stuffs? Um, yeah, do you have any resources at the HQ to build a spaceship? You don't know anything about spaceships. Oh, perfect. Perfect. All right, I'll go ask Ivan then. Yeah, no, he knows. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks, man. Thank, thank, thanks. No, no. Yeah, sure. Great. You're going to think about if you know anything to build. You either know how to build a spaceship or you don't, dude. Like, there's nothing to think about. You, you, you clearly don't know anything. Ivan, what about you? Do you know how to build a spaceship? I don't know what's saying to me. I'm happy you found the ship, but means it's also ruined. Yeah, it can't be repaired. No, you can't get. We can't get off the planet with my ship, dude. I've explained this like four times now, and everyone just doesn't get that we still can't get off the goddamn planet. My ship got wrecked. Did you not see the fireball coming down from the sky? It is gone. It is destroyed. Yes, I know you don't have the resources to make an entire ship. Yes, I'm, I'm well aware. I can mine though, and I can get resources. I can't scavenge parts from the ship. Oh my god. The the dialogue in this mod, this dialogue is is amazing. I really wish they had they had contacted us and let us know. I would have gladly done some voice acting for Mark's dialogue and just made him a little less stupid. Ivan, not so much. Ivan could have been stupid. That's fine. Yeah, okay, great. You're you're useless. Oh, Justin! You didn't even get mentioned by Bill, but what do you have to say? Yes, my ship is very damaged for the we're all in this one hallway chatting together, and it's like they can't hear each other's conversations. It's great. I love it. Yeah, no, I can't can't fly it anymore. No, it's definitely broken. Yeah, that's we've we've been over this. What do you mean? It's it's very broken. 
What about making an antenna to contact nearby ships? Oh, okay. That first good idea comes out of Justin. Good job, Justin. Thank you for showing up today to the uh, the team meeting. Really appreciate it. Yeah, or Wong. That's a good idea. Thanks, man. Yeah, we also want to get back home. I'm 99% sure you're an android, Justin, but that's okay. Yeah, we got to build an antenna. Yeah, okay, okay. We got to build an antenna. Finally, an intelligent solution to the problem. I had to say to every single guy, here's my ship. Ship is broken. Ship's not getting fixed. No way to fix the ship. No, we don't have parts to fix the ship. No, none of us know how to build a ship. Well, I'm, I'm gonna strap a chair to a thruster and just fly off to the moon. Like, I don't even care. But that's fine. We'll go visit the antenna and we'll get some parts for the antenna. Oh my goodness. What, what an intelligent conversation we just had. You guys are literally the dumbest three people I've ever met in my entire life. Bill, Bill as well, but that's, that's a whole other problem. Bill's just, Bill's kind of got an excuse because I think Bill, uh, you know, Bill's gone insane. At least the three of them had each other to talk to, but... Let's just go to the antenna real quick and see what's up with that. Run over that cow, because why not? And, uh, yeah, let's see what the antenna's all about. The, uh, the dialogue in this game, I really, I really wish I had done some, some voice acting too. I don't know if you could do custom sound bites or not, though. That might have been too much to ask. The mod might not be possible to have that. But, yeah, all the, uh, all the, the HQ guys, they're all kind of stupid. They're really, they're really stupid. You gotta explain yourself... 25 times to them. All right, back at the antenna. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna learn about it. It's a pointy bit on top of a less pointy bit. Let's see here. Go to the abandoned antenna. I'm here. Investigate its control panel. Okay. Are you serious? That's... that's... that... Okay. Interesting. So apparently investigating the control panel, I just smashed the control panel and then it gave me the recipe on how to build a large antenna, which would then, of course, get us to contact Wong. Craft and place down the build plane in the workbench. Oh, we probably have to actually like, like build ourselves a recipe and build a whole antenna with like that recipe. Well, that's cool. Well, either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We're going to head back to the base now, um, you know, now that we know how to build an antenna, which is super cool, and contact Wonk Enterprises to get off the planet. Seems like we're getting, uh, pretty close to the end of the main quest, uh, not actually sure, because I have no idea when this, uh, quest line ends, but obviously we have to go do the side quests as well, get that done, and there's still, uh, a lot of stuff I want to do with the actual base itself, which, like, you know, haven't really done any of that stuff. You can kind of just sort of whip through the quest line. We could probably try speed running this at some point too and see how long it would take to actually speed run all the quests if you didn't do any base stuff and uh, actually just ran through it. But yeah, a lot of base building stuff left to do still if we want to get all that done. But now we have the recipe to build an antenna, which is super cool. And uh, obviously we still have to go back into the mine and get some other recipes there as well. And I'm assuming we contact Wonk and then they send a ship to come pick us up. Like that... Seems like that's the conversation we just had with all the other guys. Is It's just like, yeah, just contact them. They'll send a ship because apparently nobody on this uh, planet knows how to build a spaceship. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.